What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Snag, and I'm finally back with another video today, man. You dig? It's been a week since I posted, but you know, man, your boy Snag is back. That's how y'all gotta know, man. I know y'all see that big SS3, man. Y'all spend my SS3 in the chat, man. But yeah, I'm gonna be showing y'all my defense and rebounding badges. These are the best defense and rebounding badges in the game, dog. But make sure y'all smash that like button. If y'all new, hit that sub button. Turn on your post notice, man. We grinding for that 1K. It's your boy Snack, and I'm out. Ah, uh, y'all. I'm gonna start off with my finishing badges, man. Showing y'all my finishing badges that I use in the game. I'm gonna show you all the badges that I use, cause personally, people ask me a lot, like, yo, what badges you use? What's your badge? Can I see your badges all the time? So I'm gonna show you all my badges, just not just my defense and rebounding. So my finishing badges, I use Acrobat, Lob City Finisher, Pick and Roller, Contact Finisher, and Relentless Finisher, bro. These are the five badges that I use. These are my main badges that I use. I switch them up when I play two centers on twos, and I put back down punches so I can bully the guard, and just, it's, it's gonna be easier. But these five badges right here are my main badges, man. But let's get right to the shooting. You already know that I get one, so it's catch and shoot, bro. That playmaking, unpluckable. It's one badge, too. And let's get to the important badges, man. These badges, man. You already know I have to go with that Box Hall of Fame and that Brick Wall Hall of Fame. That's the main. I don't, like, really got to explain that bad, those two badges because every center in the game knows that those two badges are a must-have, bro. And Intimidator, bro. But I did hear that Intimidator, if you put that on silver, it's the same. But I never tested it out, so I wouldn't suggest it. But when, if I do, I will let y'all know, man. I got y'all. And let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna save chase down and interceptor, bro. Rebound chaser, another must-have badge. It's a must. You feel me? Every center needs that badge, but it's just like simple. Rim protector, same thing with rim protector, bro. And the paint against freaking paint beast or back down punishers, whatever you want to call those freaking builds. But yeah, man, those two badges are must-have, bro. And chase down artist is a good badge, bro. Just because, like, it helps you get blocks, bro. Chase down blocks, man. You feel me? It comes in clutch, bro, a lot, honestly. Interceptor. I'm the type of player that I love baiting people and getting steals, interceptions. And I had this at bronze one time, and I wasn't catching anything, bro. I was tipping them. So I was like, yeah, there's no point in me even using that badge anymore on bronze. I was going to take it off, but then I was like, you know what? Let me upgrade it. And I'm going to tell y'all why. I did that because I wanted to put pogo stick on interceptor and upgrade my chase down artist i took away worm bro i'm gonna tell you why i took away worm worm is the worst badge in this game bro the worst badge in this game to me in my opinion that badge is so it's terrible like you can only break box outs it's meant to break box outs but i only break box out box outs my fault man i only break box outs when i have my takeover so what's really the point of that badge what's the point of having worm on hall of fame if another center has box on hall of fame you're not breaking their box out no matter what unless you have your takeover you will or if they're an 80 overall center or 80 something who doesn't have box you'll break that box out but other than that this badge is pointless because everybody in the game is a 99 overall and I'm gonna tell y'all why I use Pogo Stick, one of the best badges in the game for centers, bro. Because if you're in the paint every single time, bro, centers, if you have Pogo Stick and you, if you don't have Pogo Stick and you jump, when you come back down, that center is already going up and easily scoring on you every time in the paint. When I put Pogo Stick on, it was so hard. I barely got scored on in the paint. It was too hard for centers to score on me in the paint, bro. Because once I jump, they think they can go back up and I just block them again and just get a rebound and then let's go feel me it's too hard to score on someone when they have intimidator rim protector and pogo stick on hall of fame bro that's a fact so i suggest y'all use these badges right here bro take away that worm if you have it bro it's pointless and use these badges that i'm showing y'all right here these badges how much badges is three four five six seven eight nine these nine badges that i have right here are the best badges for centers in my opinion bro you feel me i'm just trying to like just tell y'all what i think especially for the people who ask me what badges i use man but this this one's for y'all bro but yeah man i hope y'all like enjoy the video man hit that like button man if y'all new hit that sub button turn on your post notice and it's your boy snack and i'm out of